All right, there we go. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another pack cracking video. I am your host, Mr. Bevers. I hope you're all doing well on this night, this Sunday evening. You know, whatever it may be for you. Maybe it's Monday morning, depending on where you are. Maybe it's super late Sunday. Maybe it's early Sunday. I don't know. It can't be that early Sunday, but I know it is at least Sunday afternoon for some of you. So, Mr. Kyle, my patron, who is backing at the booster box level, has asked for another box of Kaladesh this month. And I am perfectly fine to oblige. Um, I have a number of these boxes just kind of sitting on shelves. I picked a whole bunch of them up for about 110 Canadian um, a while back. Just because I figured, you know, why not, right? Um, uh, Matthew Aubrey and Kyle were both asking for these boxes. So... You live in Canada too, MTG Kid? That's awesome, man. So you're in the same time zone as me, and you're and you're in Canada, so that must mean that you're in Ontario, right? Fifth Moon, you're not in you're not in you are in Ontario, that's good. Fifth Moon's not in Canada, yeah. Not everybody's going to be in Canada. I mean, the time zone stretches quite a ways, right? But welcome to everyone, no matter where you are. I appreciate you all being here. I hope you can uh, put up with my uh, how's about it's and what have you about being a hoser in hockey and things, right? That's what the Canadians say, right? I think. I don't know. Maybe that's too much of a trope. Just outside of Vancouver. That's awesome, man. I've never been to BC, but I've always wanted... I've always wanted to go. I have never been, but I've always wanted to be a, check it out. We're going to get right into things for Kyle here. I know Kyle's here. So. All right, Kyle. What can we find you? All right, man. Have a, have a good night. Thanks for tuning in. Virginia, yeah. That's pretty close. And you're right below Eastern Ontario. Smuggler's Copter to start things off. It's, uh, it's it, you know, even though it got banned, it's still not a bad little rare. Not a bad little rare. Ohio for you. All right. Okay. I haven't been to either of those places. But uh, both, I hear, are very nice. All right. Can we find you an invention? How about a mythic? We'll take a mythic, I guess. Rash me. And a foil. Self-assembler. There you go. So Kyle's Kyle will let me know if there's anything specific he wants out of this out of this box. Um, obviously, I'm going to ship him all the rares for sure. And I'll ship him all the foils. But if there's like tokens or uncommons that you see that you want or that you need, just let me know. Okay? And of course, I'll pull out the uncommons of note. Which are like uh, Harness Lightning, uh, Ether Hub, Long Tusk Cub, uh, Glimmer of Genius is still in that, I think, right? Ballista Charger, Refurbish. Do you want any refurbishes? Because Refurbish is seeing a lot of play right now. It's not pricey, but it is seeing a lot of play. Yeah, exactly, Becca. Blossoming Defense, that's the other one. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Botanical Sanctum, that's a pretty good one. Not a bad little rare. That's like uh, one of the pricier uh, lands right now from the uh, from the set, I believe. Shot up in price due to the Teamer Energy decks. The Concealed Courtyard was up there for a while, and then it came back down. It's played in Vintage in Frontier. Yeah, exactly, Type-T. Ten dollars for Sanctum. That's good. Good. Syndicate Trafficker. I mean, I always want to make sure that I open some at least some decent stuff, right? 
You're from Nashville. That's pretty awesome. I've never been to Tennessee either. I haven't traveled a lot of states, to be honest. Um, I've been to Seattle. I've been to Boston. I've been to Philly. That's, and then, like, Florida when I was younger. Spire Bluff Canal. Wow. That's uh, actually not really... It's not in the top now anymore, anymore right? Like, th the Spire Bluff was always the one that was well sought after. And then it sort of dropped off with all the energy decks coming out with uh, Ixalan, right? Is a tune, a tune worth anything? I don't think it is. I know a tune is a card that a lot of people play. Nine bucks on the canal. All right, sweet. So two of the top lands then. That's pretty awesome. Lancaster, New York. All right. An Aether Storm Rock. Woo! Little flappy bird. You know. You opened three mythics in one Ixalan bundle. That's pretty sweet. That's almost like the uh, the patron bundle we opened for Matthew, uh, my uh, my patron Matthew Nielsen, and we opened a f uh, Carnage Tyrant in it for him. Combustible Gear Elk. That's not the Red Mythic we want to see, is it? I don't think it is. Any luck with Iconic? Um, well, I mean, my first box of Iconic was was probably my best box. I don't think I'll ever beat it. Um, I opened a Foil Grove, I opened up a Horizon Canopy, Flusterstorm, uh, Thoughtseize, Inspiring Vantage, uh, what else did I get? Um, Mana Drain, I guess that's the big ticket one, right? Like my first box was just insane, I don't think I'll open another box. You got Jace, Watley, and Star in your in your bundle. That's pretty crazy, Fifth Moon. Architect of the Untamed. Mm. Nothing to write home about there. Getting all the lands. Hey, listen. Sweet. I hope Kyle needs lands, because cause I want to give him all the lands. I feel like that's fair. Master Trinketeer. I'm okay giving him. Ah, uh, it certainly did, Becca. Salmon, Salmon was probably feeling a little sore after that. That's for sure. We're almost there, everybody. We're almost there. We're uh, we're approaching that 700 sub mark. I really appreciate you all being subbed. That's great. At 750, we got a giveaway coming up. So, you know, tell your family, tell your friends. I mean, I'm definitely not shilling out at all, right? I'm not telling you that I need subs. <laughs> Please. I need to feed my family. I'm just kidding. Here I am, like, busting, like, $100 boxes of magic cards, and I'm complaining about not being able to feed my family. Lol. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Totally. Right? Essence Extraction. Foundry. <laughs> Foundry Inspector. Aether Meltdown. Wildest Dreams! Need Kingdom. A Canadian brother. Welcome. Welcome. Hey, there's our first Aether Hub. Metalwork Colossus. Alright, well. Don't believe Steve. He flies. Bob's got my number, you know. Engineered Might, Elegant Edge Crafters, Inventor's Apprentice, Nissa. Man, I forgot that this Nissa was even in this set. That's how long it's been since I've opened one of these. I didn't even. I forgot that she was in this set because I've been opening Dovin Bond, Sahili, and Chandra. And I don't think I've opened a Nissa in quite some time. It's kind of funny, actually. You live outside of internet service. That's not very good. Well, I'm glad that you can be here now, Oak Tree. To, to at least get a little bit of your fix. And don't worry. I mean, I don't expect you guys... I, have, I put out five videos a week. I don't expect you to watch all of them. Jeez. 
I would appreciate it if you watched all of them. But I mean, there's a lot of videos to go through, you know? Scrap Heap Scrounger. That used to be worth something. Foil Mountain! Sweet! Foil lands are always awesome. Awesome to find. But uh, I'm. Mean, that's only our second foil. We're halfway through the box. We've only opened two foils. It's kind of a weird, weird situation to be in. And. Eh. Oh, it's the whale! Hey, another foil. Ambitious Aetherborn. We're gonna get a whole bunch of foils in a row now, right? I think that's how this works. Get get out of here, garbage. All right, and don't you guys go anywhere because we will do uh, we'll do a giveaway after after this. So make sure you s stick around. Gear per orrery, a foil refurbish. Sweet. A card that's seeing play in standard right now. Always nice to have foil copies of those. Poor Nissa got forgotten about in Kaladesh. Her super team fell apart, and now she's missing. That's right, Becca. So, that was what? Three foils in a row so far? Mountain, Ambitious, Aetherborn, and Refurbish, right? Cloud Blazer, Fabrication Module, Servant of the Conduit, and an Animation Module. With another foil, our foil rare, Cultivator's Caravan. I mean, Cultivator's Caravan is not terrible. It's a good, it's a good card. But, I mean, we would have taken a foil Nissa. Or a foil Chandra. That would have been cool. Ceremi Ceremonious Rejection. Inventor's Fair. That was like over a buck for a while. And now it's not so much. Now it's not so much. But uh, let's see. Can we find you an invention? That's really, really we need to, right? We've gotten three Mythics. We're probably expecting at least one more. Marionette Master. Huh. Hey, Trash Fire, how's it going, man? I was just talking about you. And if you're up for it, we can totally do your bundle tonight, too, if you're around. If you've got time and you want to watch, we can definitely do your bundle. Trash Fire MTG, by the way, is one of my backers. He is, uh... He is backing at the bundle level. I've got a I got him a bundle of Aether Revolt sitting over here to the side. Rooting for Mana Vault. Alright. You wanna do your bundle tonight? Alright, perfect. We can totally do it after this. Ah! Toolcraft exemplar. Come on, man. You've been found! Okay, Oak Tree, have a great day. Don't get don't 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 work too hard, you know? There's our first Harness Lightning, my goodness. Sahili's Artistry is our rare there. Hmm. Hmm. The first half of this box, or like the first like third of this box, was fire. And it's kind of just kind of petered out a little bit here. Key to the city. Not the key to success, though. You want to find an ensnaring bridge for... Uh, we want a Mana Vault for Kyle and then a Snaring Bridge for you. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Let's move the mic up a little here. There's another Aether Hub. That's good. Panharmonicon is actually not a bad little rare. So I think it's worth a couple bucks, so we'll put it up there with that pile. All right. Before we do your bundle, though, Matthew, we're going to do a giveaway in between. Blooming Marsh, boom, we've hit, did we hit all of the lands or is there a fifth land? No, there's one more. We, we're missing Concealed Courtyard. Can we hit all five lands? I mean, I would take all five lands. I would take all five lands if we can't get an invention. Sky Sovereign Council's flagship actually seeing play now in standard, surprisingly. Not a thing that I thought I would see happen, but uh, definitely is a thing that's happened. Cultivator's Caravan. There it is. You got a foil one and a regular one. Lucky. 
the luckiest. Ah, Whirler Virtuoso. Huh! Eliminate the competition. All right. Uh, Need Kingdom. I generally don't do a lot of trading myself. Um, because I, I run a store. Um... I run a shop. Bo uh, Bomac Courier seeing play as well in Standard. And a foil, Thriving Ibex. Um, you can send me a message. My email is on the YouTube page here in my About section. You can just email me there. And let me know what it is you're looking for and what you're looking to trade. And maybe we can work it out. Um, but generally speaking, I, I just put everything up that I have for sale or for trade up on my store. Blossoming Defense, another good one. Electrostatic Pummeler, another foil. Snare Thopter. Hmm. Yeah, I run my own shop, basically. It's like an online store. I try to keep all the prices of things under what TCG currently has them listed as. It's very hard to do because I'm a one-man show, and <laughs> I do everything myself. And I don't have automated scripts or anything like that that does any of that stuff. What do we find? But uh, the store should be linked in the description. That's really random, Type D. A fifth mythic? Wow, Demon of Dark Souls, or Dark Schemes. Five mythics in one box is pretty good. Especially if one's not foil. All right. Can we find an invention in the last pack? I'll tell you this. There is a foil. Absolutely. Definitely, you should be subbing to everybody. You should be subbing to Trashfire and Fifth Moon Magic and... Uh, who's the other one? MTG Manticore. De Oak Tree. Sub you should sub to anybody who produces magic content. We should all be a, a, you know, a community that supports each other, right? You, you reckon that I, I got five mythics because you're here? I, it, I mean, like, absolutely. <laughs> oh, it's a Malfus squad. Oh, couldn't get the invention on the last pack. But we walked away with a number of decent uncommons. Three blossoming defenses. That's pretty decent. Only only one long tusk cub and only one harness lightning, but two ether hubs, which is the priciest of the uncommons. So that's good. That's good. Um, and I mean, our rares were not amazing, amazing, but we did hit four of the five lands, and we hit five mythics. So Kyle. Your box was not terrible. This box would have been very good at launch. Um, I mean, at launch, you had a, a Planeswalker, five Mythics. Uh, you had a Foil Cultivator's Caravan, which was seeing play. Smuggler's Copter, which was like a $20 rare at launch. Like, pretty crazy. Anyway, give it up for Kyle, everybody. Thank you so much, Kyle. Um, I gotta get a box here. Where am I gonna put this stuff here? I gotta... You let me know if there's anything else you wanted out of these commons and uncommons. But for now, I'm going to put them in this box here so that I know that they're separated. And your rares and things are going to go into some bags here. Okay, one bag of regular rares and things. And this bag is going to be these ones, but I'm going to put them in sleeves first. And then the foils. So we can put the foils in there. And I'll put them in this bag, but I'm not going to seal it. Okay, so there you go. Boom. There it is. Kyle, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Let me just mute my phone here. Boom. There we go. You guys got to hear all of the ridiculous nonsense of uh, 
my my Discord going off. All right, perfect, Kyle. So Kyle's saying everything that was on the screen is what he wants, so I'll just give him all the rares, the foils, the uncommons, and he doesn't care about the other junk. So, all right, Kyle, I will get that shipped off to you. I've already done all the grab bags for my patrons, so those are already ready to go. You can see them all. I just kind of like... They're all done up, see? I don't want to show you the other sides because it's got people mailing addresses and things. But there's a whole pile of them here. That was only some of them. So, anyway, let's do a giveaway, right? Let's do a giveaway. And we're going to do something similar to what we did last time, which is we've got one of these bad boys here. A buy a box. Okay? We're going to open up this, and we're going to give away both of the Rebecca Galands to two lucky winners. Okay? Sound good? So we're going to open this bad boy up, and we're going to give away the two lands. Okay? So, let's go like this. Oh, dear. What have I done? I've been cleaning up, and you'll have to bear with me a moment here. Huh. Cleaning up, you know, sometimes it works out, and sometimes it doesn't work out. We need these. This is what we need. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. So we've got the usual, the usual suspects here. Let's get our Sharpie. Boom. All right. So, this is what I'm going to do. If you're active in chat right now, I'm going to write your name on a card. Okay? So I'm just going to go through who I see here, and I'm going to say Becca's here. And Trashfire is here. And who else do I see? Pete. Handy. Ronnie. Ronnie T. Connor. What do we got? Connor L. All right. Okay, we've got fifth. Moon. Why, why did I put three O's in your name? Who knows? I'm just I'm just like that. We got Ryan. Ryan A. Boom. We've got Type D. What is happening here? What is this nonsense? We shouldn't have this. Turn that off like that. Skip, skip, whatever that is. There we go. One of my videos was playing in VLC for some reason. So we got Need. Need. Kingdom. Alright. We got Molly. Molly Danny. Socks. We got Pommen. Sevens. Pommen Sevens. That's what you get. Who else we got? Am I, who else am I missing? Everybody, you speak up if I haven't got your name down. You want an island. Ryan, where are you? Here, you want an island? All right, Ryan. Well, you know what? This is what happens when you ask for a different land. Sorry. What do we got? Monique. Listen, I gotta incentivize everyone else not to ask for another type of land card. I made an exception for Ryan because he asked nicely. 
But if everyone's like, switch me to this land, then I would be like, well, now I'm just rewriting everybody's name. Now I'm just rewriting everybody's name. So you gotta rip up that card, you know? Okay, is everybody in who wants to be in? Right now, we've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve people. Twelve people. Give me a different land now. Listen, trash fire, that's the whole point, right? You it magic is supposed to be enjoyable, right? Most cats are white. That is quite true, Becca. That is quite true. Can I switch you to a mountain? I mean, is this one better? I can just... It's not better. Like, which... Do you want this one instead? Yeah, exactly, Ronnie. Like, I mean... I haven't talked about any of it. I've seen a bunch of the stuff that's going on. I haven't... I don't really pay attention to it, to be completely honest. But there's been a lot of crazy stuff going on. There's been a lot of crazy stuff going on. In, in the magic world these days with, you know, people just hating on each other. I don't know. It's, it's a ridiculous thing, right? Why can't everybody just enjoy, right? Why can't everybody just enjoy? Alphonse, you want in? You're here. I'm putting you in. Do I watch Jeremy's channel? Um, so, I'll tell you this, okay? MTG Headquarters is one of the reasons, the main reasons, why I got into doing pack cracking videos. Absolutely. Like, I used to watch his videos all the time. You game it. You game it. Gotcha, man. Gotcha. Yeah, exactly. Why can't... Oh, Oak Tree's back. Oak Tree, you're getting in. Because you're back. Capital R, because I am just a weirdo like that. You're welcome, everyone. The inner workings of the Mr. Bever's mind. Yeah, see, exactly, Monica. It's like one of those things. Like, he's a big channel. He absolutely is. Um, and, I mean, he's been doing it for a very long time. But the thing is, is that his videos from three or four years ago were all about just opening product and just talking about the game. And that's what I want this channel to be about, is just that. Like, I just... Why, why do you need to do all the other stuff? It doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, like... Sure, I mean, it's nice to have a PSA every now and then for players if you find out bad shit's happening. Like, if a store is friggin' like reneging on uh, pre orders and things like that, then that's something you can call out, absolutely. That's stuff that shouldn't be happening. No worries, you game it. You're here, you're active in chat. Let's do this. Let's open it first. Ooh, I see a Regisaur Alpha. An Hour of Glory. Kambal Councils of Allocation. Sandworm Convergence. Man, we got some pretty poop rares out of this pack. Oof. Foil Captured by the Consulate. Foil Siren Storm Tamer. I'm okay with that. This is a pretty decent card. Um, it's not, like, amazing, but it's it's definitely good. 
All right, we got a plains. Ooh, fancy. And we got a swamp. And, of course, the Burning Sun avatar that you get in every pack. All right. This is how we're going to do it, all right? Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We've got fifteen people in here. Asher's here. Okay, Asher. You missed the box opening for Kyle. It was a pretty decent box. No Chandra, no invention. But he did hit four of the five lands from Kaladesh. All right. We're going to make you guys pick the winners, of course. Ooh, right. We got to go like this. Left or right? Which side should this person be? Hmm? All right, chat. It's all up to you guys. Left or right? The most votes, this card goes in that pile. One vote for left. Two votes for left. One vote for right. Two votes for right. Three votes for right. Three votes for left. That's great, ne Need Kingdom. That's definitely what you want it to be. <laughs> up. Okay, I just put it up here then. Let's, let's put it up here. All right, you game it. I understand. You said left. You only need to vote once. Putting it in there multiple times will not make me to see that it has more votes. So left has four votes. Right has one, two, three, four, five, six votes. No, five votes. Okay, right wins. Five votes. All right. So, these are the people competing. There are seven people competing for the planes and eight people competing for the swamp. All right. Are you all ready? We're going to do the planes first. Pick left or right. Time to vote again, everybody. Left or right, who's it going to be? One of these columns. And I'm not going to tell you which. One of these columns, something will happen based on what you vote. Hey, Jay Shing, how's it going? You asked when the next stream would be. Here I am. Left has four votes already. Of course, it has four people, so that makes sense. All right, left, 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 left. Left gets removed. Three people left to win the planes. Let's see who didn't make it. Ah, let's not see who didn't make it. We'll see who didn't make it before we just show the winner, right? That makes sense. That way everyone's invested. Now what we're going to do is we'll roll a four-sided die. On a four, we'll switch the piles. These four will come back, and these three will go out. On a one, two, or a three, one, two, three, that will be the winner of the planes. Two. 
You are the lucky winner. We'll see who the runners up are in a moment. Left or right, everybody? <laughs> Only three likes. It's fine. I mean, like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> right? Left? Right? Left? Two votes for right, two votes for left, three votes for left, four votes for left. Always, always vote left. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four votes for right and four votes for left. We need, we need another vote here. Come on, people. Don't make me decide. Right it is. Right's in the lead, five to four. There's 19 of you here. Eh? Hmm? And, and stick around, because we've got another bundle. Okay? we got another bundle to open for another patron. And another giveaway after that bundle. So, if you didn't win this time, maybe you'll win the next one. Left, left, right. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five rights. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six lefts. Seven lefts, six rights. Eight lefts. All right. Left it is. Left stays this time. All right. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to roll a D4. Compliments of Mr. Tony Wolf, one of my patrons. We're going to roll a d4. Okay? We can't switch the piles this time because there's four cards here. So whoever ro whoever gets this, one, two, three, four, counting down from the top, you're the winner. One it is. Right on top. You're going to be the winner. Let's see who the booby prize winners are. And by that I mean you don't win nothing yet. But you could win something next round. If you stick around. Alphonse. Sorry, buddy. Connor. Didn't quite make it. Pommen. Sevens. Pete Handy. You guys all got out in that first round when you picked left. Type D, so close. Oak Tree, also super close. And the winner of the planes. Becca! Becca, you won the planes! You won a planes for your cat deck. Congratulations, Becca. That's crazy. All right. Who? Mon Monique. Didn't quite make it there. You got eliminated in the first round. Ronnie T. Sorry, man. Fifth Moon Magic. Not quite. You game it. Not not there. These three. The runners-ups. The runner-ups. Trashfire. Molly Danny. Ryan A. Who could be left? Who's the last one that hasn't had their name shown yet? Do you know who you are? Who's here that hasn't had their name shown yet that knew their name got put into the pile? I know who it is. Asher got here just after. Pete Handy's right here. It's Need. Need Kingdom! You won yourself a swamp. Congratulations. Now, the rest of you, if you stick around, we'll do a roll call. Okay? We'll do a roll call at the end of the next bundle for the next giveaway. The next giveaway will be exactly the same. It will be two Rebecca Gay lands. Okay? All of you here in this pile will have a chance to win. The two people who have won will not be entered. Okay? You've already won prizes. You won't be entered in the next one. So let's do the bundle for Mr. Matthew Aubrey. And then we'll do another giveaway at the end. And I will add any newcomers. Absolutely. But everybody in this pile will be in there. Okay? So you need to make sure you send me a note. Okay? Send me a message on Facebook or whatever. Um, just a private message. Or you can email me. 
your mailing address, okay? Becca, I think I have yours already, but I'll have to dig it up. I think you sent it to me on a message on Facebook. Um, so I think I'm good for you. Um, but need, I'll need your uh, mailing address, okay? So once you send that to me, I will ship that out to you, okay? It'll go out tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, in fact, it will go out. So hopefully you get it in a, in a, a very timely manner. All right, let me grab the bundle here. You won't even... I'm not even going to take this off because... That's the price I paid for that. In Canadian. Minus $5 because I'm an Edge member and I got this at EB Games. So, 30 bucks. Not so bad. Not so bad. Canadian. Especially Canadian. Alright, Matthew. What are we going to find for you? What are we going to find for you? I appreciate it, Becca. I appreciate it. Alright. Alright, Trash Fire. Are you feeling lucky, man? I hope you are. Because it's time. There's a good old black die. Put that over in the pile. Some more lands that I can add to the box of ever-growing lands. Alright. Let's do this. This is for Trash Fire. Those of you in chat, throw up some hype for Trash Fire. Go check out his channel if you haven't. He's been a longtime supporter of mine. I really appreciate it. Alright, Winding Constrictor. Not a bad little uh, uncommon to start things off. Scrap Trawler. Oof. Alright. Ornithopter. Gifted Aetherborn. Another good uncommon. Oath of a Johnny. Alright, what are you... You're hoping for that ensnaring bridge, I think is what you said, right? Let's see if we can pull one for you. Last time he called shotted, he was like, I want you to open up an Aether Vial for me, and I did. <laughs> so, maybe, you know, third time's the charm, and we'll hit that called shot again. I don't think we'll ever hit that called shot again, to be completely honest. But, you never know. You never know. We should at least open some sort of invention for you, right? And if not that, you need what? A walking ballista, maybe a metallic mimic? Or a, a paradox engine? How's that? A mythic hype. He's got some stuff coming. You open that in your chaos draft. Sweet. I haven't done a chaos draft ever. I'm thinking about doing one because I have so many other random booster boxes kicking around. Carry Zev. But also, I've got a lot of unstable coming. I've got a box battle of unstable coming, so stay tuned for that. One of my buddies, who is a streamer on Twitch, um, who's just starting to build a sort of a, a name for himself, or trying to build a name for himself, he contacted me and he wanted to do a box battle. Exquisite Archangel and a Foil Wrangle. Two Mythics in one bundle. All right, all right. He wants to do, uh, he wants to do a box battle of unstable, and I was like, that's gonna be really hard for us to determine what's worth more because the unstable prices right now are just absolute garbage. But that's because it's it's a joke set. The cards aren't legal like in any format. P is revolution. Oh no. Two mythics is very good. I agree. Let's see if we can hit that third elusive mythic for you though, and or an invention, right? Come on, baby. Lifecrafter's Bestiary is actually a pretty decent card. I really like it. Carry Zev's expertise to go with Carry Zev. The, un the unstable prices are un 
stable. You don't see the appeal of unsets? Okay, so Monique, um... The unsets are a very interesting thing. I think that, like, if you were to play them, um, you'd understand, I guess. Or maybe you have played them and maybe you just didn't enjoy it. I don't know. It's, it's, it's this weird thing. For me, I played them in high school. And so, uh, I have a lot of fond memories of just playing some really ridiculous things. Like, Cheaty Face. And just, like, trying to sneak it onto the table. Or playing the card that's, like, you have to stand on one leg for the rest of the game. Third Mythic! Beep, 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 beep. Got there. Got there. We uh we definitely didn't uh didn't find you an invention, but we hit three mythics in one bundle. That in itself is pretty amazing. Did we hit a monkey token? I don't think we did. Let's see. Gremlin. Servo. Thopter. Energy. Servo. Servo. Thopter. Oh, that's it. Nope. Didn't get there. Mythic City. You got a really good box. Like, this was a great bundle. Had you opened it at release. Oath of a Johnny was a fair price. Carry Zev is still a decent price. Lifecrafter's Bestiary is a decent price. Um, and then three Mythics. And then on top of that, two Winding Constrictors, which were like the hot, the top end, one of the top end uh, commons at the time. No Fatal Push. That was obviously, of course, the 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 highest, right? But anyway, thank you, Matthew. We're going to put those off to the side for you here, and I'm going to give you the foils and the uncommons. Was there anything else in here that you wanted? Anything else you wanted out of the commons or uncommons? You tell me, and I will add it in. Your stuff's in the box there. Let's get a... Uh... Burp, 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 burp. You know what those are for. All of you should know what those are for. All right. Let's get a little bag here. Put your stuff in there. Uh, here it is. Like that. Put it there like that. Invention next month. Let's hope so, man. I got another Aether Revolt bundle sitting here waiting for you if you want it. So, <laughs> it's waiting. All right. Let's, uh, let's do the thing. Roll call. Who's here? Pete, are you still here? Is Pete still here? Let me go through here. Trash fire is here. You you game it is here. Fifth moon magic is here. I saw oak tree in here. Connor, you're still here. Alphonse is still here. Type D is here. Oak tree is here. Molly, Molly's here. Monique is here. Ryan's here. We're missing Pete. And we're missing Pommin. And we're missing Ronnie T. Well, they obviously didn't pay attention to the don't leave. So that's fine. But we've got new people. we got Tony Wolf. And we've got Jay Shing. And we got Asher. Asher, are you still here? Asher's still here. Yeah, he said he was here. All right. All right. Which basically means we replace these three people who aren't here anymore with these three people. And we go, sorry, dudes. I guess you just didn't, you didn't want, you don't want fun stuff. It's fine. This is one's a little different, ain't it? This one's a little different, ain't it? I haven't opened very many of these. I've only opened one. And they have the alternate art Ixalan flip cards. Um, 
Let's get in. Let's get in. Glorious end. Starting with a mythic, much better than last time. Not really the best, but but starting with a mythic. Sram's expertise, followed by Toolcraft Exemplar, followed by Hapatra. So, one mythic. Eh. Foil approach for the second sun, or approach of the second sun. That's a thing. I guess approach the approach deck is still a thing, right? All right, so then we've got a foil burn. Oh! This is the one. Search for Azkanta. That's the one. We ripped it. Wow. I assume that's the most expensive one out of them. Uh, mainly because Search for Azkanta is the priciest flip card out of Ixalan still, as far as I know. Holy moly. I don't know. How much is it worth? Someone can price check it for me. I don't have it open right now. It is, yeah. That's a sweet pull. All right, well. Sweet deal. I can't complain about that. See, I thought growing rights would be too, but uh, Search for Azkanta is seeing more play in uh, standard and modern right now because the uh, Itlamok one isn't isn't played in standard at all. It's only being played in modern, really, if anywhere. All right, Chris. You got here before we started shuffling, so I'll add you in. Just remember this. I did you a favor. I'm just kidding. Thanks for being here. Welcome. Thirty bucks. Thirty-three bucks. Twenty-two oh one. Yeah. So I'm assuming the thirty and thirty-three is probably what the Canadian price, and twenty-two oh one is the TCG player price. That's my guess. That's my guess. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We got an even number this time. A nice even number. We're going to shuffle this up. We can do better, Asher. Doing, doing the Lord's work. I appreciate it, Asher. All right, everybody. Now what? Now what? What comes next, everybody? Everybody should know this by now. Who's ready? <laughs> I figured that's what you meant, Chris. No worries. Left. All right, so we're going for the island first. So we've got two votes for left, three votes for left, one vote for right. Nicole Bolas, the one true lord. I agree, Becca. We've got left, 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 left on island. I need... <laughs> I appreciate your vote, Aureus Ingus, er, Ignis, Aureus Ignis, 
since you're not even on one of these cards. I appreciate your vote. Not giving away the Azkanta? I can't. I can't do it. I'm a collector. I'm a collector, Ryan. I don't need it. I don't need it. I need it! I need it! Alright, so left is what I'm seeing. Right only has three votes. One, two, three, four. Four votes for right. One, two, three, four, five, six votes for left. Left it is. Right gets eliminated. See how we did that there? Just to, just to mess with you guys. Alright. Let's pick the mountain now. But when we voted left, I lost. Well, you'll never know, right? You won't know. We're doing the mountain now. Pick left or right. So we've got right... No, okay, Asher, is your vote for for the mount for is your vote for the mountain? You're right. It was that for the mountain? I I assume it was. Right. So if we count you there, we've got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven for right? Is that what I'm seeing? And then left we're seeing one two two votes for left so right wins and rights eliminated you see this is how we did it last time I never tell you what you're voting on I just tell you to pick a side and this time it was which one to keep and this time it was which one to get rid of and last time it was when you voted on this side, it was which one to get rid of and this one which one to keep. I just reversed them. So, psh, psh. here we go. We're down to seven again. Let's roll these dice again, right? Seems like a fair way of doing it. One, two, three, four. Right? You guys can't see that. Two. It's two again. It was two before. Now, you guys can't really see that roll, but the top is a two. There it is. Bam. Let's roll for this side. If we roll a four, we change the piles. Okay? It's a one. Can you see it? The one on the top there? There it is. Alright. Who didn't win the island? Oak Tree. Sorry, man. You game it. Not quite. Jay Shing. Sorry, man. Who also didn't win the island? Molly. Sorry. Chris G. Next time. And MTG Asher. Sorry, man. Who won the island? Who won the island? Alphonse! You are walking away with a nice, shiny island. Congratulations. And I'm probably butchering your name, and I apologize. But I believe your name is Alf Alphonse, right? Yeah, okay, good. Some for some reason the the O in your name it kind of looks like an A the way I wrote it and I was like is this supposed to be Alphanes I thought it was Alphonse I was just I'm just crazy and obviously I'm just illegible and uh, it's fine it's fine who didn't win the mountain Type D sorry next time Ryan Fifth Moon and Monique next time next time there will be more. In the future. 750, we have a really cool giveaway. 750 subs, we have a really cool giveaway. So tell your friends, tell your family. We're almost there. We're only like 60 subs away or something like that. The two runners up for the mountain. 
Connor. Oh, man. Sorry, man. Tony! You were so close. You could I could have almost sent you an actual land that you might have wanted. Instead of... Instead of all those du dual lands. Is it a trash fire? Did trash fire win? Did trash fire really win? On hi on the giveaway after his own bundle. Is it his is it truly his night? It totally is. <laughs> trash fire. Just slow clap, man. Slow clap. Congratulations. That's amazing. Can I switch to a foil mountain? Listen, Connor, I'm not defacing a foil mountain for you. Which is hilarious to me, because I can just do this. Because I'm already shipping this to you, so it just kind of goes right in there, like that. And this is all your other stuff, see? There's all your pulls that we just pulled for you. Right? Your, your mythics are in here somewhere, I swear. There they are, Paradox Engine. That's convenient for me. That's for sure. One less thing for me to ship out, you know? All right. Well, that's all I had. That's actually more than I had planned for the stream for tonight. Because I only had planned Kyle Cole's uh, booster box. But, uh... Mr. Matthew Trashfire MTG showed up and... And was like, hey... Uh, you can totally do my bundles tonight. And I was like, yeah, sweet. So, Alphonse, in my About page on YouTube, you should be able to find my email address, or you can click the Message Me button. Send me your shipping address. Okay? Full shipping address. This is going to go anywhere in the world, so it doesn't matter where, where you are. Just send me your shipping address, and I'll get it shipped out to you. Can I send you the basic mountain that I signed? Um, so you game it. Here's what I'll tell you. I can't ship it out to you because I live in Canada. And it'll cost me $4 just to ship this single card to you. And, and, that's, and that's $4 that I cannot spend on shipping to ship you a, a single mountain. Um, if it was cheaper for me... If I was in the States, I could ship it to you and it would be so easy. Um, if you were a patron, I could ship it to you, no no problem. Um, I know you're too young, you don't have any money to spend. But here's what I'll tell you. Come back to the next one. Come back to the next... Come back to the next uh, stream, okay? There'll be another stream, uh, probably within the week. I would guess. I have another patron to do another bundle for, and I'll probably do another giveaway during that stream as well. Come back to that one, and if you don't win, then I'll ship it out to you. Okay? And hey, hey, if you can pay the $4 shipping fee, and you really want it that bad, I'll ship it to you. Um, you can just You can just pay me through PayPal or whatever. You can toss it through my donation page on Twitch. You can do whoever you like. But if you don't want to, come out to the next one. Come out to the next stream. And if you're here and you're in the giveaway and you don't win... It is, Becca. I agree with you. It is just absolutely ridiculous. Yes, absolutely. It'll be, on, it'll be another night. I don't know when... Um, cause I haven't heard back from the patron whose bundle I have to open yet, but, um, anyway. Hey, Angel, how's it going? Am I doing one more? No, that's it for tonight, I think, Chris. Um, just because, uh, I opened a booster box and I opened a bundle already. I did two giveaways.
What would I do if someone sponsored a revised booster box? Uh, I would open that box for them however they wanted me to. I would open it with my teeth. I would open it with scissors. I would open it however they wanted it me wanted me to open it. And I obviously I would never open it with scissors. I would, I would never open it with my teeth either. I would open it properly. I would probably put gloves on because revised cards are ridiculously expensive. Um, but uh, you can ask one of my patrons. Uh, Matthew Nielsen sent me a bunch of stuff. Actually, one of my previous videos um, where he actually sent me um, a bunch of old products. He sent me a booster pack of the dark. And he sent me a uh, a starter deck of Tempest. And he let me open them up for him and see what was in them, which was cool. And I shipped everything back to him because it was his stuff. Like, why wouldn't I, right? I mean, it, it it's only fair, right? It's his stuff. I didn't pay for it. I'm, you know, I do this for fun, right? I do this for fun. I open these packs for fun. I'm a bit of a collector, so I like collecting the stuff. If I crack it, I'm trying to work on my collections. So I'm trying to complete all of the sets that I can by opening the product myself. It's a very arduous task and quite expensive. But it means I have a lot of product. The Tempest booklet is sweet. I have it here. Let me let me dig it out. I can show it off here. This is the Tempest booklet that he let me keep. That came in the uh, in the Tempest starter kit. It is thick. Like look at that beast. And that's like individual pages. There are. Let's see the count. There are 62 pages in this booklet. 62 pages. And it's like all like, it's got concept art. And it's got like all of the like lore about certain characters from the mythos and stuff. Like it's super cool. Like I didn't know that they even made these back in the day. So that's really cool. I was super stoked about that. He let me keep that, which I'm very thankful for. Um, and then you can see here, I saved the pack too. He sent me a, a pack of the dark. I figured he didn't want the wrapper back, so I, I kept that as well. But yeah. Uh, if someone sponsored something like that, I would open it for them. And I would send it back to them. I would, I would open it and send them literally everything from it back. If they wanted it, right? You should try to do a stream every Sunday, please. Well, Need Kingdom... You know, yeah, no worries, you game it. I'll, I'll definitely, that's probably where I'll stick to. It's okay, Angel, don't worry. Uh, I did it at 9 because this was for the uh, people out in the West Coast. So it's 6 p.m. for them, right? So, what is a box of revised costs? It's it's a lot. Yeah, I, I mean, like, I don't think I'll ever do a face reveal on YouTube, Jay Shing, to be honest. Yeah, do you think... Uh, did I do a face reveal once on, on YouTube? I don't think I did. On Twitch, I always stream with a face cam. $2,400 for a box of revised. That is insane. You don't see my email there. I know it's there. I put it there. Hold on. I'll go look. Just give me two seconds. Doop a doop a doo. Uh, my channel. About section. Yeah, okay, sorry. Uh, hmm, how do I show this to you? So, you'll see, like, okay, so in my about section, you see the description, and then below the description, you should see my fan mail address, right? Uh, but then there's a thing that says details, and then it says for business inquiries, If you, and you click reveal email address, there's an email address there where you can reach me. It's nerdvanastorecanada at gmail.com. I can just paste it into chat for you, that's fine. Have a great night, everybody who's taken off. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it.
Thank you for your likes. Thank you for watching. If you disliked it, thank you for your dislike, because that means you showed up and watched the video. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, and then look at this. I think, I don't know, most of you who have seen my, uh, my video with Salmon with my uh, Iconic Masters will, see, will know this, but check this bad boy out. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that properly in the in the camera angle? Probably not. Let's see. Can you focus on this? There it is. That's a crimped bird token. All across the bottom, see? It's the first crimped card I've ever opened. It's the first crimped card I ever opened. I opened that bo that pack, uh, like I pulled it out of the box, and I went, wait a minute, the bottom of this pack's open. And I like looked at it, and I was like, wow, it is just completely, like the bottom seal just wasn't sealed at all. And I was like, oh, shit, a crimped card. Neat. I was like, I've never had a crimped card. And yeah, it's only a token, but I mean, it's cool. I kind of like it. I, it. I don't know. Like for me, I don't think I would buy crimped cards. I know there's a market out there for people who love this stuff. I don't think I ever would, but will I keep the one that I opened? Absolutely I will, right? Because when am I doing the next live one? I don't know yet, uh, you game it, because uh, I've got to wait for my uh, my other patron whose bundle I have waiting for him to, to let me know when he's available to do the live stream. Because I do it on their schedule because uh, they have to be able to watch, right? I want to make sure that they can watch their content get opened live. So I don't know when it'll be, but I know that he's on the West Coast as well. So chances are it'll be early. Like, it'll probably be like uh, somewhere in the 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Somewhere in that range, most likely, because I know he has a young child. Um, so he generally tries to do it earlier in the in the night, right? Like right when he gets home from work or whatever. That's awesome, Alphonse. That's a sweet crimp card to have as your first crimp card. Yeah, absolutely, Tony. I will, for sure. Uh, and I sent the notification this time as well. So all my patrons will know that there is a Discord for the patrons. Um, so there's a Discord channel where I send notifications out saying, you know, this is, you know, there's a stream coming. And Tony, I'll try to give you a little more notice than, you know, 10 minutes before it starts. Um... So once I hear back from Matthew, I'll let you guys know. Uh, I'll put a post on Patreon, and I'll I'll try to mention it in uh, you know as a pinned comment on my on my one of my videos, so that you guys out there in the YouTube land who aren't patrons, I appreciate your views and everything. I appreciate you even just watching it. It really helps. Every bit helps. Um, can also see. So check, keep keep an eye out for pinned comments on my videos because I don't pin comments very often. So if you see a pinned comment, it's probably me saying something um, that pertains to things that are upcoming. Okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been your host, Mr. Rivers, And as always, may your pulls ever be better. Okay, we got the sign-off. Did I, did I finish the bundles? Uh, which bundles, Tony? Thank you, Trashfire. I appreciate it, man. Have a great night, everybody. If you're asking about the bundles... Um, uh, so I have one left to do. I did the box, the booster box, and the bundle tonight. I have Matthew Nielsen's bundle to do still. Um, uh, I was waiting on it in the mail. It showed up today. Um, so... I have it now, but I gotta wait for him to tell me when he can do it. Um, I sent a, I'm pretty sure I sent another note out saying, hey, when do you want to do it? Let me just talk to you. Maybe he thinks I still don't have the product yet. I don't know. Let me just see. Yeah, okay. So, uh, oh, I didn't send an update to him. Doe. Doe, that's why I here I, I could have probably done it tonight and just not known, but he probably didn't know either, but that's fine. I'll send him another note and I'll let him know that I have the product now and that we can set up a time for it. And I'll let you guys know when it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
Sorry that my, you know, my other sign-off that I did uh, wasn't actually the end of the video, but now it is. Bye! Thank you.